morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to what is going to be a rather damp start to a two days at Alton Towers. Anyway, against my um, wise wisdom, normally I would say let's start at the back of the park, but I think I'm going to um, start the day with a bit of a spin on Wicker Man. Yeah, I'm here about half an hour later than what I planned to be because traffic set off half an hour earlier than what I planned to and I still got here half an hour late because of traffic but hey, part of the, part of the fun, part of the fun Anyway, my um, partner in crime couldn't make it unforeseen circumstances so instead of it being me and thee it's just uh, me on my own but hey, never mind. Anyway, so as you can hear, there's some of the little chimes from Hall of the Mountain King. And I'm going to spin you around just so I can show a few people. Unlike Disney, we do actually have our own castles. You don't need to build that one, Imagineers. We have it ourselves. I looked on the app, everything at the moment is five to ten minute waits. So it's pretty much classified as walk-ons, so it's not too bad. Weather should clear up after lunch. So I'm probably going to do what I did last time and combine two days into one long video. So I'm not having to uh, smush too much stuff. And I can keep my phone battery alive for long enough. Even though I do have the uh, big bad battery pack in the bag. Anyway, let's get to Wicker Man. Get sacrificed to Big Bob. So, chat to you in a minute. Pause. Oh, Big Bob was uh, giving you a good ride anyway. Moist rail and all that on Wicker Man. Forgot how good a moist rail is. But hey, come back to that. If it stays at five minute, a few times, which is walk ons, remember guys, that will be good. So, instead of going to the top end of the park, I've got to go over towards Nemi and then we can get first ride of the trip on the Nemi. Let's see how nemesis Nemi is. Might actually stop off at Subterra on the way. You never know. Anyway, pause. Well, ended up on Nemi. The big bad boy. Woo, does that have some force? Got a bike row on that as well. Oh, by the way, yeah, I got a bike row on. Um, on Wicker Man so that was uh, all fun whilst it starts to rain again but man is that ever mad while I'm here I'll uh, get on Blade but the experience on Nemi wow that had some forces forgot how good it is it's a bit damp and a bit moist but it's all fun but I've just missed a cycle on, uh, on Blade but I'm going to do Blade while I'm over here anyway bit of a time filler but hey, I'll have a bit of fun with this. But I mean, Nemi, as good as always, it rocks. But yes, I know it's a pirate ship, but I mean, come on. It feels some time though, don't it? In the rain. It's been a little while since I've uh, seen you all. So yeah, how was it? Went to uh, Smiler, got on that just in time because that thing broke down after I got it. So for some weird reason it's broke down. Uh, done Oblivion and had a bit of a uh, spinny body wizard. Forgot how cramped up you get in there and also how uh, psychotic it gets. It's drying up, it's not raining anymore but it's uh, not too bad. But it has been a bit of a day so far of things breaking down because, uh, you know, Smile is down and uh, Rita's down and a few things and, you know, like Wizard was down about 10 minutes before I got to it. So that's been down. So it's, uh, you never know how that's going to go. Let's have a look at these um, souvenir cups. I think I might get myself one eventually, but it's probably going to be the thing you want to. Uh, the Oktoberfest one's in there. 
Uh, well, so it's been not too bad so far. So, like what, six, six rides in three hours? Instead of getting late, the queues haven't been too bad. I'm heading over up towards 13, and I just looked at the app, the app and the queue for that's like 20 to 25 minutes. So, probably going to be about the longest I'll have waited. It's not too bad. I waited about 10 minutes or so I could get on there. Uh, yeah, I've waited 15 minutes to get on Smiler, 10 minutes to get on Oblivion. Most of the stuff's been walk-ons. So, it's not too bad. It's just some things are breaking down. And then again, with the weather being horrible like it did start, it's not, not all that brilliant, but never mind. And yeah, my hair is purple. And I've got a bit of a curl going on. Because I got uh, piss work through. Oh, you never know. But we'll see. Anyway. I will talk to y'all in a bit. Pause. Oh, Return 13. What a powerful combo. Wow. <laughs> Rita, the queue had literally just reopened. So I managed to get onto uh, that and then 13. I just did a quick sneaky here, fast pass. Because I wasn't going to be uh, waiting around 30 minutes for it. So, a few more things have uh, reopened. So, whilst we've still got the time, might as well stay up this end of the park. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to Smiler. Give that a run again. So, Smiler, Oblivion. Do those two for a uh, second run. And then I think I'll make my way back down to the other side of the park over to um, Nemi and uh, Galactica and all that lot. And, uh, pick up some of the other stuff. It's a it's kind of a shame Hex ain't open, but that's been down for a while and my feet would definitely appreciate the sky ride being open, but kind of know why that's not open because that's going to be uh, a long term closure for the season. So uh, sky ride will hopefully ride again next year. And maybe next time I'm here after this double day. Maybe next time I'll be able to drive myself so I can actually come a little bit uh, more there uh, without relying on parents and stuff. But hey, anyway, save phone battery. I will do a, a wrap up a little bit later, give myself a bit more uh, time to ride and hang. So, uh, posy posies. And as you catch me, I am back. I am now in the hotel. <laughs> yeah, I ended up going doing um, Smiler again and Oblivion again. Then I had some of the food from Just Chicken. The way that they order it, it's weird. Their um, self-service machines don't let you customise the burger itself. So I had to actually talk to a human and order it that way. But um, yeah, but this is the room I'm in. The Arctic Explorer room. Let's give you a quick. Yeah, till he's on mute so you don't um, get thingy. But I've got hairy bikers on there. Heating. Heating is good. But well, this room's quite nice. Don't know how it would have done with two of us in here. Because <clears throat> my partner in crime was supposed to have been with me. So one of us would obviously have probably been on here. And the other one would have taken either the cart or, you know, the under. The undercut, but don't matter. But nice decor, and uh, my feet are definitely appreciating the thick carpet because uh, even though sneaky sneakies are really nice, my feet are um, annihilated. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's got some um, quite a few re rides on uh, Nemi as well, but um, I did curse uh, Alton Manor. And um, my word is that creepy. That thing is uh, creepy to the max. But it's actually quite good. Might do it again um, tomorrow, I don't know. Or I might give that one a miss and um, pick up some of the stuff that I didn't do. Because I, want, I wanted to go back and redo Wicker Man, but uh, obviously didn't because that one was down um, for the last hour. 
I think it was down for the last hour anyway, but I was up uh, up towards Nemi and um, Galactica or Galactic Air. And I'm, I'm going to agree with every other enthusiast out there that keeps saying that uh, Galactica now does seem very out of place and it doesn't seem to be, um, you know, it does seem like it's just locked off all on its own. With all of the stuff that's going on with like the phalanx and everything and you know with how nemesis is with its own area and everything it just seems more like it's um stuck in its own area so hopefully when they um come back and redo it if they redo it over the um off season this year into next um year that it gets either just a clean up and a bit of a even if it's just like a soft re-theme just to bring it into line with it i don't know um and all of that lot but uh now after doing four runs on um, Nemesis Reborn, got a front row. I had, I had a back row run the first time, front row run the second time that I did it, and then the um, last two times I got the second row and I was on the very left um, seat. Uh, it still kicks ass. It is amazing. I might actually get some more footage of stuff tomorrow uh, and other things. So there was a lot of other stuff, and my last ride of the day on uh, Nemi as well. I had a Scottish guy who was um, swearing his swearing his head off, going around it. So all you could hear was beep, 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 and it's just like oh joy. But hey, part of the fun of it. But my feet are smashed, and as you can probably tell with some of the clips, I am definitely not fit. I am totally out of shape. I will admit, I'm a fat git. I'm now becoming a fat git. Going through this change has put weight on in places I never had weight before. So, um, yeah, I'm getting fat. I'm getting fat. And I'm out of, I'm totally out of shape. But, hey, never mind. It's going to be fun because I'm going to be able to hear other people's doors squeaking again. But, I mean, I think last time the room I had was um, like a time traveler's room. You know, from like design like a very like steampunky aesthetic, where the um, followed on from some of the other stuff. But I mean, this room's nice. It's nice and warm now. Now that I've got the heating on, nice and warm. And uh, patterns in here are really good. But I mean, yeah, going back to Nemi, it rocks. It rocks. I'm definitely going to get one of the new um, Nemesis Reborn shirts. And I'm going to get a, Nem a Nemesis um, 1994 shirt as well. It's probably going to be my two t-shirts for the trip. And then um, a lot of other stuff. But I think tomorrow is just going to be a day where I just mop up a load of stuff that I didn't do. And yes, I have got my You're Late to Hell shirt with, you know, that. <laughs> but yeah, so tomorrow is probably going to be just the mop ups. So like do Mind Train and some of the other stuff. I'm not going to do Spinball. I'm probably not going to do Rita again. Uh, might not even do 13. Depends on the queue times really. Smiler, as I've done it twice. Um, it is, there's a few transitions on there. Where you come out one of the Cobra rolls or one of the like the Serpent roll or whatever it is. Then you go into one of the um, long corkscrews. It, there is a rough transition in there where it does lump you around and it does seem now quite tight as well but I mean it's not that bad and then go back to Nemi with people complaining about the rattle um, I'm partially deaf so I didn't really hear a rattle but then again I wasn't really paying attention if there was one it was probably just like you know the wheel guards or something rattling or even some people have said you know it's like a drip, a drip tray or a rain guard or something that's just having a whinge. It's very slightly having a bit of skull shake. But it's not too bad really. But I mean, yeah. And, uh, hanging around in the station. To, well, hanging around to get into the station for Galactica or Air or Galactic Air. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, is a bit of a pain in the butt. Because you are basically just like hanging there for 30 seconds to a minute waiting for the other train to clear and then when you are going onto that train as well sometimes the harnesses don't always 
show up on the computer system. So they're having to play um, harness number bingo. You know, so that, you know you might hear like you know a six three, or you know a two four, or a one three or a one one, every now and then. So there is always that going on. But I mean, yeah, I'm staying in the main hotel and it is nice in here. I like it. I do. I will always say do two days is always best with the park this size, especially with the amount of walking that you're doing, especially because sometimes the queues can get quite long. And I will always tell people, if you possibly can, come during the week because you will get um, lower queue times. My Because I've done this park a few times now, my um, kind of like, you know, my threshold for when I just go, nah, I'll just get a fast pass, has gone from about 30 minutes to about 20 minutes now. Unless it's one that I don't mind waiting for or I just want to have a chill. But I mean, some rides like 13 and stuff like that, I won't bother wait in the 20 minutes I'll just get a fast pass if I want to ride it I'll get a fast pass or I'll do it one of the first or last of the day um, but I think tomorrow I'm going to start with either um, Galactica or back to Nemi because I'm going to be entering the park from that side and then I don't know I might go back up to the top end of the park and go through some of the stuff that's there or I might just well, cover it as I want but I mean I did say that I was doing some like Pokemon stuff and like hatching the eggs and I have caught a few things and I have spun some of the, the stuff I didn't have any gym battles because the queues were quite short where the gyms were quality of the food in the park isn't too bad I know it is expensive but it's park food uh, it's a bit more expensive than it used to be I know people are saying that it is quite expensive and it does um, become a bit of a problem and an overindulgence but I mean I did have a chicken I did have a chicken butt in it wasn't too bad a chicken burger chips are really nice the staff in there are always nice so can't complain about that but the price of it like you know 12 50 for a burger cola and fries is a bit much but then again I'm not exactly going to complain about that because what it's a theme park and I'm probably going to be spending 40, 50, maybe even 60 quid on t-shirts and merch tomorrow before I leave to go home. So, yeah. And I don't know how much I'm going to be spending at the bar later. Probably only going to have a beer and a bit, probably some chips, I think. But, hey, never mind. Or I might, like, go to nip over at Splash Landings and get a pizza. I'll have a look anyway. Depends on what mood I'm in. But, peace out till tomorrow. Give you a little view of where my room was situated. This isn't the start of the actual day day bit by the way, I'm just giving myself a little moment but my room was situated literally there. <laughs> so I was right there. So quite fun. Anyway, might as well do the start of the day now while I'm uh, trekking my way over to the Stargate area to get back in. Not a bad night actually, the rooms are really comfortable, staff are always uh, super helpful, super friendly. Breakfast, breakfast is fine, uh, can't complain when you get your breakfast included. Might not be the 100% greatest quality in the world, you don't exactly expect Michelin quality, or well, for some of you that do know parts of my past, Michelin quality because yes I did used to be a chef also guys when you're doing this walk keep your damn heads on a swivel because there is cars everywhere at this point in the morning because there's obviously going to be people coming and going from the hotels to the hotels to the park and back but yeah day two will be beginning um, I think depending on what's open and stuff like that uh, I might be starting either on Galactica or Nemesis Reborn, or as I will forever still call it, Nemesis or Nemi. 
the big bad beastie. I will never, I don't think I'm ever going to call it reborn. I'll try to see if I can uh, get a bit of subterra done as well because I didn't do that yesterday. Uh, I'll try and mop up some of the other stuff. So my uh, runaway mine train should be done today and um, maybe gangster granny. Yes, I am already out of breath. By the way, my uh, left calf, left knee, left knee, left ankle are absolutely screwed after yesterday. That walk went up the hill and round the long way of Nemi on the queue line is a killer. It is a breaker. But, you know, that's just how it is. And my purple hair is happy this morning. So, uh, yeah. The entertainment in the bar was uh, quite fun. I had a few beers while I was down there. Gotta say that it's expensive. You know, 7 50 for a pint. It could range up to like 8 50 maybe 9 quid for a pint. Yeah, normally I'm on Guinness, but I was just on normal stuff. But, I mean, come on. I wasn't going to argue at some of the prices and stuff and go through a lot of the other stuff. But, hey, it was fun. It was good. It's good stuff. I don't mind. There's a little bit of drizzle in the air, so it could be getting a wee bit wet again this morning. So you never know, I might get damp. But I think today, if I'm not constantly lugging my bag, I will probably have a big bad backpack stored away in a locker somewhere whilst I'm riding. And the rest of the day, uh, I will then just be bouncing from area to area, mopping up the things I didn't ride and re-riding some of my favourite or chosen things. And then we will see how the rest of the day goes. Also, we will see how my uh, feet survive because I did all of that yesterday and I punished my feet incredibly yesterday by doing that. I might take a few more walks around the gardens as well and do more stuff, but I will catch you all when I get off some rides or when I do things that I haven't done. Bye. First ride of the morning, big bad Demi herself, she's alive, she's testing, so I think they gave us uh, entryway onto the, into the cattle pen about 15 minutes earlier, so a bit of access to it, hear the lift still rattling away. This walkway though, dear God does it ever kill your legs. This when you've done this for a second day and you're an idiot and you did it all yesterday as well. When you knew you would suffer and your knee was screaming, stop, don't walk up there. A little too late at that point. There she goes, empty trains on a test. Yeah, the peak of the lift hill is still just underneath the tippy top of those trees. So, it's all fun, it's all fun. But I mean, this, walk you through all of this now, just with the re-theme and everything, it just adds to it. The gunman that goes off it has a good shot. If you're on the front row, you get a good view of the eye that's down there as well. That loop is uh, loopy, so is that one. But yeah, it's all fun down here. Probably won't be able to hear me over that. It's all up and active. It's out of control. See the truth. Okay, so a few people may have got preferential treatments and got front rows, but I mean, we're all here 
Yeah. It's all good. Sedation we're all in and we're all good, so decreasing. it's going to be fun. Yeah, the holding was just there. So, at least we're in the cattle pen and we get to start the day. But, I mean, this is one of the better views of it as well. I'm up here. Pretty fun. Anyway, pauses. As it rains again on day two, yeah, not too bad. Got quite a few in so far. Ah, uh, it's really been a bad day so far, especially with a good start. We had a double run on uh, on Nemesis, and then got Blade and some of the other stuff. Now I'm just basically just ambling around, just filling the times. So I think I'm probably gonna go over towards like the another one of the more like kid, kiddie area sort of things and probably do Gangster Granny and you know like the fabulous Fandango or whatever it is like the sizzler thing and stuff so stuff my face with chips for me dinner whilst it was all right so it's not too bad queues are a little bit busier today it started off a bit drier but maybe with all this rain it might actually um, slow a few people up so you never know but off I go to Gangster Granny and see how that's going and then uh, I'll just get back to you on the uh, amble to the car so uh, pause for now hey right so I had an absolute madman in the uh, control box for um, the Fandango, the fabulous Fandango machine thing. Got uh, two runs back to back because there was no one in the queue pen and it was drizzling. So that was uh, fun. Also was uh, watching three rather large dudes getting all squidged in and squadged in. And it was basically like a, a fairground sizzler ride. The gangster granny. That's kind of funny but kind of nah. Well then again, it is a kid's thing, so it ain't all that bad really. Yeah, I'm walking past the um, River Rapids, the Congo River Rapids. You can hear that over everything else. I ended my day with a run on Wicker Man and then uh, Runaway Mine Train. Why not, since I was already over that way. So it's been one hell of a two days. It's been brilliant, it's been fun, but I am absolutely beat I am not one for saying that I tap out but I almost tapped out about half an hour ago because <laughs> usually I try to stay as long as possible but right now my feet are absolutely murdered so um, yeah it's all fun but hey that's part of it though isn't it part of life when you do these trips Anyway, how would I sum that up? Um, mental. Mental. I'm going to stick by my analogy for uh, Smiler. And it really is like you've uh, walked into a washing machine. Because uh, sometimes when you go through those uh, loops, or well, you go through those inversions, just like successively, just back to back, it is just like you're stuck in a washing machine. But hey, it's all good. Is it value for what I paid? Uh, yeah. This is when you get your uh, second day free when you stay at the hotel at certain times of the year. So that's uh, always that's always fun. Maybe if I did have better footwear, I don't know whether it's my choice of footwear or what that's uh, screwed me over. But I mean, I do have decent pair of Nikes but I mean 
my feet are still dead. I don't know, but hey, it's been fun. Maybe if the weather was a bit better and it hadn't rained at certain times, it probably would have been even better. But hey, it's all good. But hey, all right, let's head back home now. My brain is absolutely fried, so I can't think, think straight. So I will just sign out. I'm giving you all goodbye. So, goodbye.